Hey friends, and welcome back to Simply Home and Harvest. Welcome if you're new here. I have several new subscribers since my last video, and it looks like you all like the decluttering and the organizing videos. And so today is another one. Today we're actually going to be tackling the deep freezer. And this is one that I have put off and put off and put off. If you'll see, I'm standing in the unfinished part of our basement and it's a scary place down here. If I flip the camera around, either a lot of you maybe could relate or a lot of you would be appalled at the mess that surrounds me. I'm not gonna show you that today. We're gonna save that for another day. We're gonna ease into this decluttering project. And so I thought the best way to start would be to hit the freezers. So if you missed the last video, I did declutter and organize our upstairs freezer. And that has been so nice to open the door and not have things fall on my foot because that hurts. I don't like to be attacked by my food. Anybody else? <laughs> So that's been nice this week not to have that happen. Um, but today we're going to move on to another project and I'm going to basically tackle it the same way. I've got my freezer bags and I'm just going to pull all the food out of the freezer. That's the way that works best for me. That way I can see what I have. I did buy some organizing bins that hopefully are going to work. We'll find out together and then we'll try to put it back in there in a more organized fashion. We're also going to take an inventory. I want to know what's in my freezer, and that's a helpful tip to you. You know, a lot of times we store up food, things are on sale, so we buy a little extra, and we put it in our freezer, and then we forget about it. Or if you're like me, you forget about it. And so today, I'm going to remind myself what's in here. So that's the plan today. Now, our goal in this pantry challenge, remember we are participating in the Three Rivers Homestead Pantry Challenge, and that is just a simple challenge for the month of January and February. Basically, the rules are, there are no rules. You make your own rules based on what works for your family. And so that consists of trying to eat and uh, use up what you have on hand, what's in your pantry, what's in your freezer, what's in your food storage, and staying out of the grocery stores as much as possible. Now, for our family, I know this is repetitive if you've followed along on all these videos, but we do have to go to the grocery store for things like dairy products and for our fresh fruits. Um, but other than that, we're trying really hard to use what we have on our pantry shelf. Now, I give myself grace. There are things that we still have to go to the grocery store for. There are things that come up. Our family is just getting over a sickness, so we had to run out for medicines and things like that that we didn't have on hand. Um, but for the most part, we had a lot of what we already needed, and that is one of the beautiful things about not hoarding, but gathering some of the things that you use on a regular basis and keeping them in stock. And so I wanna teach you how to do that. And after we clean out our freezer, we're going to start tackling this basement. We're going to go through the food stores down here, and I'm going to show you how we organize it all for our family. Now I'm just stalling. I need to stop talking and start working, so let's get going on this freezer. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is get this emptied out.
Okay, guys, I'm done. I'm going to show you real quick what everything looks like right now. I just pulled it all out, put it in bags, baskets, and now I'm going to try my best to go through it and separate it. I'm realizing as I'm taking everything out that we're going to have to toss a lot. Like, for instance, this shredded zucchini. I found this in the very bottom, and it's dated June of 2018. Now, I still don't have a food saver system, and I'm really hoping to get one this year because I know that would help on, like, freezer burn and stuff. Um, but I try really hard to squeeze all the air out. It's just, over time, it's just, you know... It's just, it is what it is. So, I am going to salvage what I can. I knew there was going to be produce in the bottom from years and years ago that I would have to dump. And I'm just going to get rid of it. And we're going to do better from here forward. You know, that's one thing I have to tell myself is no regrets. Could we have done better? Absolutely. We can always do better, right? But we've got to give ourselves grace. We've got to start somewhere. And we can't just sit around and beat ourselves up. So if it's in the bottom of your freezer and you're not eating it and you can't really pass it on, just get rid of it, okay? It's just taking up space for foods that you will eat. So we're going to go ahead and clean this out real quick. Okay, so this is what it all looks like right now. I've just got some bins. I just tossed everything in. And I can already see right now. I believe these Hot Pockets have been sticking around. There's like one left in there for a couple of years because the kids wanted Hot Pockets and then they decided they didn't like them. And I know that was years ago, several summers ago. So those are probably going to get tossed and I'm not going to feel bad about it. I could, but I'm choosing not to. Okay. <laughs> Which is, like I said, we do better next time. We don't buy the things. But like, I know we're going to go through all of this stuff. This is just reserve that's in the freezer. Um, but yeah, probably going to have to toss some of these that are just completely freezer burned. Um, but June of 2018, so, and I know we had an abundance of squash that year, and I used a lot of squash, so we just had more than we can use, could use, but that's a good thing. All right, the rest of this, I think, looks okay, so I think most of this is stuff that we're going to use, but let's just break it all down and see what happens. Okay, so this is what our freezer is looking like. Now, I was able to break a few of the bigger ice pieces, and if I had the time, I could you know, go around with a scraper or something and knock, well, knock all of this out. But I think for the most part, it's not that bad. And, you know, if we want to do this in a few weeks, we'll have everything in baskets. Hopefully we could just lift it out of here and do that part. But for today, I'm just not going to be able to get to it. It's more important that I get the food separated and put back in here and just get the, the organization and decluttering. So yes, I hate to leave it like this. I really do. But I'm kind of in a time crunch right now. I got a call from a friend um, who needs me tonight to help facilitate Bible study. And so that means I've got to wrap things up a little bit early, get dinner ready for my family, and head to Bible study. So, you know, sometimes things like that come up. I want to be able to be available. And um, so this is this is just a, a little thing that can wait. I'm sorry, y'all. I know this video is probably all over the place, but I forgot to tell you about the baskets that... I picked up at Target yesterday. These are by Bright Room, and I had looked for some sort of like plastic crate that was heavy duty. It was important to me that it had handles so that I could lift it out of the freezer when I'm looking for certain meats and stuff. And I had priced these on Amazon, and I thought they were a little pricey for what they were. A lot of people were getting like the wire baskets, which, you know, I think would be probably your best choice. Um, but some of them are running like, you know, two or three for $60, $70. So these were $8 a piece. I got three this size and two smaller ones. And they're not really that much smaller, but they kind of sit down in the bigger size here. And I'm going to see if they work. My husband thinks that they're going to be too big, but we're going to find out. If they don't work, we'll take them back and get something else. Um, but I am hopeful. <music> guys I'm so excited I wasn't really sure that this was gonna work so they fit in here pretty well I mean that 
That is really awesome. I'm so happy with this. I hope that it'll make things easier. So now I gotta figure out how I wanna organize everything. And it might be too crowded. I don't know, I was kind of thinking, do I want one less basket in here maybe? So we'll just kind of work with it. I'm gonna leave the tags on the baskets until I figure all that out. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with how well they fit. So in real time, this actually took me 9 minutes and 19 seconds to just sort it out. Now you'll see it a lot quicker than that, but I was just thinking all of these projects that we put off because we think it's going to take us a week to do can literally be done in increments of time. I have to tell myself that often, one thing at a time, <laughs> one thing at a time and you know, give it an afternoon. I could put everything in the freezer right here and stop if I wanted to. And I might and come back to it tomorrow or I can sit down here and go through it and do a little bit of an inventory. So I'm going to go check my time and just see if I've got time to do that. I made a decision to go ahead and stop for the day. All I did was just stick the totes in here. So you'll see this is what it looks like. And then tomorrow I will come back and finish this project and we will write out a list of everything that's in our freezer. And that will just give us a better idea of how we can use this food for dinners in the next couple of months. I'm so encouraged to find what I already have on hand and to see that it wasn't quite as bad as I had anticipated. <laughs> so this has, has been an hour start to finish. And that is, you know, setting up my camera and bringing all the um, bags down and everything. So this project has not taken nearly as long as I thought it would. And like I said, tomorrow will be exciting to because... Tomorrow, we've done the hard part. Now, tomorrow, we can play and just figure out how we want to use our food. So, you can do this. Declutter your freezers. I'll be cheering you on. Okay, I'm back down here at the deep freezer. This is the next day. And disregard this mess in the back. You know we're going to be getting to that soon. But I wanted to let you see kind of up close what we did as far as organizing yesterday. And I was able to get all of these bins to fit into the freezer pretty well. I was amazed myself at how well they fit in and just very thankful that it worked out and have taken anything back. But today what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull each bin out just one at a time. I've got a table set up over here on the other side of the basement. And I'm just going to take an inventory of what's in each basket. So what I did was the three larger crates, I put those... Uh, two in the bottom and then one of the smaller crates I put on the side here and then I did another large crate crate I did another large crate and then I did one of the smaller crates beside it if that doesn't make sense I'll show you that in a second but in each crate I just divided like one I did chicken and turkey products in another one I did um, any of our side dishes that are frozen and one of the baskets I did all of our frozen produce in another basket, I did all frozen pork. And then I think in the fifth basket, I did just frozen beef or beef products. Um, and then in this little basket here, which came with the freezer. In fact, I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday, but we actually bought this freezer at a really good clearance price because it was a floor model. And so we didn't have all the baskets to it. We didn't have the manufacturer's um, guide or anything like that. 
we did have this one little basket. So I just use this to put random items. Like we have one quart of stew here. And then we had some frozen fruit that I want to grab for smoothies. And I, I know we'll be getting to that soon. Some frozen whipped topping, just some kind of random things. I just put those in this basket. I think I have another basket, maybe of random things too. Then our two rotisserie chickens that take up a lot of room down here. I just stuck them on top. I've also got a frozen pizza that I'm just going to have to lay on top just because of the size of everything. But all in all, see if I can get you closer. You'll see that everything fit quite nicely. Okay, I'm just going to show you this because these two baskets are rather heavy and instead of lifting these and taking them over to the table because yesterday I felt a little pull in my back and I've mentioned it on here before but I have a back injury that flares up every now and then and so I have to be wise <laughs> when doing things. So I'm going to leave these two larger bins in here where they are and I'm just going to do my best to count what's in here instead of carrying them to the table. But nice and neat, you see how those larger crates just fit perfect down in there. This is like a raised up place in the freezer. So couldn't be happier with that. And like I said, um, one day I'll get Tim to help me. We can find a scraper, scrape all this ice that's built up. But I made sure that I went ahead and got around where it would seal. So we've got the seal cleared all around the edges so that we don't have any trouble with our freezer not sealing when it's closed. I've taken an inventory and I will definitely have to write this over, but I have a list of everything that's in the freezer. And what I did, I just wrote down each item. Then I just put a tally mark beside each item, just showing the total number of what I had. And I was surprised to find things that I didn't know I had, but I was also surprised that I didn't have as much of what I thought I did. <laughs> so this is a great idea to go through your freezer, to organize it, to write down exactly what you have because that will save you a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of guesswork at the grocery store when you're meal prepping, meal planning, uh, planning your grocery list. You can just pull this out and you'll know exactly what's in here. I've got one for the freezer upstairs as well. And, you know, I'll have to be disciplined and remember that every time we use something on this list, I'll need to change the total. So what I think I'll do, and I was just, as I was doing this, I was thinking about it. If you have a good idea of how to keep track of this or you do it yourself, um, I would love to hear your suggestions, your ideas, your tips in that area. Drop that in the comments below. I did have a friend of mine and she would take a dry erase marker and she used to write on top of her freezer everything that was in her freezer. Now, that is great and all. And I used to think, that's a really cool idea. But she had little kids. And I thought, I could just see the little kids just coming through and just, you know, just wiping that off. And then it, you know, all your hard work would be gone. But I did think that was a neat idea. But I could, you know, put some sort of board up here or something if I wanted to. Um, I'll just have to think about it and see, you know, what works best for me because I'm the kind of person I need it to be easy <laughs> and direct. That is my freezer clean out today. Oh, I did measure this freezer. And according to my measurements, 
it's somewhere around seven cubic feet. This is a chest freezer and it's made by Frigidaire if you wanted those specs. Um, so now if my husband gets home and he says, no, you're wrong, then I'll just put that, I'll just, you know, type that in the bottom here and tell you the right dimensions. But I think it's somewhere around seven cubic feet. So that just gives you an idea of how those baskets work. All right. Well, that's a wrap. I can check cleaning and organizing the deep freezer off my list. I am so excited about that. Time to move on to the rest of this scary, really not so scary basement because I've already cleaned out and organized the upstairs freezer, which was something I was putting off. I've cleaned and organized the chest freezer downstairs, which was really something I was putting off. And I've been putting off this basement and all the shelves that need to be organized. But you know what? Little steps, just one baby step at a time. And I was really just expressing to my husband how overwhelmed I was feeling about cleaning this basement and getting it organized. And of course, it's something that we'll all work together on because it's not just my stuff. It's everybody's stuff down here. And he said, step one. What is step one? And he kept making me rehearse that over and over and over. Step one, declutter. Get rid of, just go around, start at the door and go all the way around the basement and get rid of what you're not going to keep. And then once step one is done, we'll move on to step two. So next project, step one, guess what? I'm taking you with me so you can hold me accountable and maybe you can just do it with me. That would be even more fun. You can clean out your basement too. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on those videos to come. Thank you so much for watching today. Thank you for being here. Until next time, remember to live simply, use what you have, and enjoy the moments you've been given. And I'll see you in the next one, friends.